Mr. Warren Buffett said, price is what you pay, value is what you get. If you don't know who Warren Buffett is, I'll give you a bit of history. He is one of the richest men in the world. It's called the Wizard of Omaha. He is known to be one of the biggest investors and the most influential investors of our time. He's made billions and billions and billions of dollars. He's invested in many, many companies. So his words are taken seriously every time he says something. They're very simple, yet very powerful. The way I understand that quote is very simple. Well, if you're paying for something and it has a price, you better make sure that it has value as well. Because if you're paying a high price for low value, then you're a fool. Which brings me to these two cars over here. On my left side, we have the 2020 Genesis G90 5.0 H track. And on my right side, we have the 2020 BMW 7 series. This is the 750i X drive sedan. BMW fans will say, how dare you compare a BMW 7 Series to a Genesis? And while the Genesis fans are clapping their hands, they're saying, well, this is a great time to be alive because you can purchase a similar luxury performance vehicle for a cheaper price. But hang on to that because it's not as simple as you think. Technically, Genesis or Hyundai, which is the parent company of Genesis, is targeting the same customers as the 7 Series. The only difference is the budget. The customers that are looking at a Genesis don't have the same budget for a BMW 7 Series. So what Genesis has done is bringing a luxury vehicle for people that can afford a 7 Series or even an S-Class for that matter. The question I have for today's video is, why is this thing more expensive than this? What does the BMW 7 Series offer that the Genesis doesn't? Well, the first thing is history. You see, the 7 Series has been in the market for a lot longer. They have created the customer experience. They have created the brand that it is today. If you look at a BMW 7 Series out there, you know it's the best that BMW can offer. It's their top line. And you do expect a very hefty price, which kind of explains why this thing over here is a lot cheaper. You see, in order to break into a market that already exists, that people are already buying vehicles from different brands, you have to bring something new yet affordable. So Genesis at the moment is bringing and building their brand to the market, to the existing market that the BMW 7 Series, Audi A8, or even the Mercedes S-Class has already taken over for a long time. Now, the best car to compare the Genesis G90 for the trim level, it's actually the BMW 750Li, which is the limo version of the sedan that we have for today's video. But the price for that, it's almost double of the Genesis, which wouldn't be very fair, or probably you can find already a comparison. I'm sure someone already took the time and compared the 750Li versus the G90. Today, I want to find out their lower trim, which is the BMW 750i standard with the M package X drive. Now, let us begin and talk about both these two vehicles. And let's start with the price. The price I'm going to mention now are actually for Canada, not for the States. The Genesis in Canada starts at $90,000 Canadian. You can only pick one package, the Prestige. For the lower trim, the 3.3 liter, it's a special order that you have to put. Meanwhile, in here, the 750i in Canada starts at $119,000 for this specific one that we have for today's video. Now, let us begin with the exterior. And first, let's start with the Genesis. First of all, this is very similar to the previous 2019 model. Not much has changed, just the trim that you have for this year. Now, on the exterior side, it's fully loaded. You have LED headlights, and of course you have 360 camera, which means they have a camera in the front. It also offers special wheels designed specifically for the G90. They're called the G Matrix, which are the ones that we see today. In person, they look pretty awesome. Every time I drive this vehicle around, people stare at it the entire time and trying to figure out what car is it. So these wheels match perfectly with the overall design of the vehicle because it gives you an impression that is a luxury. 
Now, more onto the side. We have the turning signal located onto this side. And if you look carefully, the headlight, it's quite massive. The turning signal itself goes all the way to the fender. Onto this side over here, both vehicles are very similar on technology. They both offer the soft closing option, of course, for your soft hands, so you don't have to actually pull it hard when you close it. Now, it also offers keyless entry, of course. Now, this is where my favorite part begin. Time to make fun of this thing. Yes, it looks weird. They're massive, but don't forget, they're actually functional because in some cars and in this one here, they open up to let air in, specifically because under the hood, this thing has a massive V8 uh, twin power turbo. The design, it kind of throws you off a bit. It's very different from any other 7 Series. And they've done this with the same uh, X7, the new models, and other vehicles. They're putting these massive grills in the front. Even the BMW 7 Series has its own quirks and features. Like, for example, it offers soft closing options. Same thing as the Genesis, and of course it has LED headlights. These are intelligent headlights. They're very similar to the Genesis. They basically follow the route of the vehicle. So if you're turning left, they basically switch onto the left side so you can get better brightness and you can get better vision. Now, onto the outside, this thing has a 360 cameras, which you have one underneath here and you have in the front. As far as the design, which it is new for the 7 Series, it's a bit different and I know a lot of people will not like that. Once you see it in person, you'll understand that it's not as bad as the memes out there, which are probably a hundred of them. But the overall design, I very much like it. it, it it's not, it's very bold, it's very different. The same thing with the Genesis. It's very luxurious. The Genesis, it's not sporty looking. It's more luxurious than sporty. This one, it's a blend of two, luxury and sportiness, which I very much like it. That price difference that we talked about previously, there's a reason behind it. You see, this thing is powered by air suspension system, similar to the Mercedes S63 MG that we reviewed. Most of these luxury vehicles from BMW, Mercedes, or even Audi offer air suspension system. You can control it with the switches located onto the inside. You can raise the vehicle or lower it. Depends on the actual location where you are driving. It's also uh, equipped with the entry and exit mode. Basically, it lowers itself so when you come out of the vehicle, you have, you're not very high off the ground. It also offers a remote parking. So through the key fob, you can park the vehicle. Very smart technology, which kind of explains that price difference between this and, of course, the Genesis. Now, let's move on to the rear side and let's talk about design. Let's start with the 7 Series. Of course, this is redesigned from the previous model. The difference with the 7 Series compared to that is actually the exhaust tip. They both offer LED taillights, but the exhaust tip at the bottom on the 7 Series, it's actually a twin uh, tip. Now, the actual chrome looks like a single, but inside, if you take a look, they're actually twin exhaust tips on each side. Meanwhile, this thing over here, it's a single exhaust tip with the uh, chrome exhaust uh, tip itself onto the front, which is more for cosmetics. It's the same thing on this side. As far as technology, the Genesis on this side, it opens the trunk once you stand behind it for a couple of seconds. In order to open the trunk on the 7 Series, you have to wave your foot under to open it. Um, what you have as well, um, for both vehicles, you have two buttons located at the top where you can lock the vehicle or just lock the trunk. You can lock the vehicle and the trunk at the same time. Now, as far as design, this thing over here, it's more aggressive looking, as you can see with those beautiful exhaust tips at the same time with a diffuser at the bottom. Meanwhile, the Genesis is very settled, very different, and you have massive uh, lights on each side, and you have this weird 2000s design, very different from what I've seen out there, which does give an impression that it's more luxurious than a standard vehicle. Now, the BMW 7 Series has a very unique design for the taillights and a very unique function. Of course, they light up, but if you pay attention carefully, they actually fade from the left onto the right side. A very unique design and a very unique uh, way. Meanwhile, on this side, we just have standards, of course, LED taillights. Now, both trunks are powered, of course. You wouldn't want to open them manually with your uh, 
soft hands, but the difference is inside. You see the Genesis by far has more space on the trunk than the BMW 7 Series. That doesn't mean they're very far from each other, but you can tell the difference without even looking at the specs. The BMW 7 Series has a bit smaller trunk, has less cargo volume than the, the Genesis G90. Before we get into the specs for both vehicles, I want to mention something which I find it very interesting. When you open the hood on the Genesis G90, you pull the lever inside once, and then you have to come out and you have a hood latch in there to open it. Meanwhile, on this side, you, you can pull the lever twice on the inside and then just lift the hood. A very different feature from here. Maybe some people don't give a damn about it, but I think it is interesting to mention that there is that slight difference as well. And that's a convenience because we're talking about a luxury vehicle here. Anyhow, let's move on to performance. On our right side, we have a V8 twin power turbo. It makes 523 horsepower and close to 500 pound-feet of torque, a lot more than you'll find on the Genesis, which is powered by a naturally aspirated V8 GDI engine that makes 423 horsepower. It does 0 to 60 within five seconds. The BMW 7 Series sounds a lot better than the G70. Let me show you. Now let's move on to the inside and we'll start first with the driver's cockpit and the infotainment system. This is where the price difference comes into play as well. You see the interior on the 7 Series, it is quite impressive. The entire design is very different. They both share some things in common. So for example, they both have this nice finished wood with the difference on the BMW 7 Series that on top of the wood, a very thin, fantastic a very thin line is the interior light as far as the center console in here they both have wireless charging pad they both have usb ports in here and they both have a shift knob not a scroll or just buttons which is pretty good onto the center in here it's where the difference starts see they both have the infotainment system digital but the BMW 7 Series uses a different type of system. For example, if you want to raise the volume, you can do it with your finger by doing this. There you go. So you have that option. So you don't have to actually use your delicate fingers to raise the volume. The infotainment system, it is touchscreen. Uh, you can change everything from there or you have a scroll button in here that you can control. Very similar to the Genesis. You have your map, your media and so on. Onto the center in here, you have the button for the uh, air suspension system. You can raise and lower the vehicle based on what you like. You also have adaptive cruise control and you have different types of driving modes similar to the Genesis. You have Sport, Comfort and Eco Pro. Now, the next thing that is different in here compared to the uh, Genesis G90 is the climate control. Besides the fact that you have buttons on each side, the screen in the middle is touch screen. You have your heated seats and cooling seats or ventilated seats. Uh, you can control everything in here, the fan speed and so on, the temperature as well. Now, the temperature can be controlled through here or there is a very interesting way to do it. 
You see, it's not just a button, it is touch screen. You can change the temperature through this part over here. It is touch and you can change it from cold to hot. Uh, it's basically left and right. Very cool, very interesting. The entire design on the 7 Series on this side over here, it's a little bit better than the Genesis. It's a mix of luxury and performance and sportiveness at the same time. A very, very good thing, which why I'm a very big fan. I like this kind of style, I like this kind of interior. I'm into the actual steering wheel in here. So first of all, we have paddle shifters, which you can use and put the car in manual mode. As far as technology, we have driver system package similar to the Genesis G90. You can control everything onto the left side and of course you have all the volume buttons. Another thing that you have in here that you don't find in the Genesis is actually the cluster. You see the cluster is fully digital and of course you can customize it and change and of course it changes every time you change the settings or the drive modes. Now as far as the steering column it is powered similar to the Genesis, not very different. They both offer heads-up display. They both offer, of course, memory seats, and of course, they both offer different ways to adjust your seat. Now, on the Genesis, you have a couple more options when it comes to the seat. You can adjust the lumbar support on a different ways. You can do the same thing in here. In the G90, the seat itself changes based on the driving. So, for example, if you go too hard on corners, the seat moves and helps you stay in the same position. So it helps you stay stable, basically. They both offer, of course, a one single roof, only in the front, not a full panoramic roof with this model, the 750i that we have for today's video. Now, in terms of comfort and space, they're both very similar. They're not too far, but I want to say this, the overall design and the cockpit style for the driver on the BMW seri 7 Series, it's a little bit better, a little bit more sporty, something that I very much enjoy. Now, this is where the Genesis G90 is a winner. What I mean by winner? Well, first of all, in the 750i, you don't have the controls here for the seat. You can't adjust your seats. You can only have control over the actual fan and, of course, the temperature on the rear side. And you have cooling seats and heated seats for the rear side. The Genesis, on the other hand, into the center console provides you all the switches that you need for the audio system. You can adjust the seats. You can move the seat in front of you. Something that you can't do in this model. And this is where the Genesis is the winner. You can do some things that you can on the Genesis. For example, you have power, uh, you have power shades in here and you have power shades in the back. You can control them through the switches in here. You can lower it and of course uh, raise it back again. But in terms of technology, the Genesis does have more features on the rear side than this model. Where in order for you to get to the same level as the Genesis, you basically have to put down another 40,000 or so for the LI. Um, in terms of comfort level, very nice and wide, very comfortable. The Genesis is wider than the 7 Series, but it is not longer than the 7 Series. The 7 Series is a couple of inches longer than the G90. In terms of technology in here, you have all the control units for the window, of course, and you have for the shades. We don't have any sunroof in here like the Mercedes S class. Other than that, we have a beautiful finished wood. in here, as you can see, the same thing onto the door panel. And of course it has uh, interior light. Other than that, this is pretty much it. The actual armrest has some space and you can basically fold it up to get an extra seat. Now I have covered pretty much everything you need to know for both vehicles. It's time now to take the 7 Series for a drive. Again, I've been driving this for a while, so I want to share some of my thoughts between the driving experience on the G90 and, of course, the BMW 7 Series. Let's go for a drive. Okay, let's go for a drive with the BMW. We'll start first in to comfort mode. And here we go. Very interested to find out how well this thing drives. First of all, this thing has that option that it pulls the actual seat belt. So you're nice and comfortable. Very similar to the Genesis, it offers the same thing. 
Um, one thing I noticed with this, it feels very heavy. Right away, once you start driving, it feels heavy and very big compared to the Genesis. Not massively uh, bigger, but um, it does feel very big at some point. Um, one other thing I noticed how quiet is inside compared to the Genesis. Already just doing 40 kilometers an hour right now. You can tell the difference. It's slightly quieter than the Genesis on this side. Um, another interesting thing that I just realized that this has that I forgot to mention is actually massage seats in the front uh, for the passenger and the driver's side. You can control with switches located onto the door. Um, and it's quite interesting because they do a very good job. Overall, I'm loving the experience on the 7 Series. The interior here is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Oh, going over to that bump, very smooth. It's more so sporty and luxury, and BMW is very good at doing that compared to other vehicles. Like when you get inside uh, S-Class, like it's, it's luxury and some sportiness. BMW is a 50-50. It's a well-done blend between uh, sportiness and luxury very well done uh, the interior it's fantastic all this beautiful switches around all that chrome design in the center uh, very similar to x7 bmw 3 series as well it's just bigger in here um, but i do love the genesis quite a lot i very much love the driving um, comforts in a vehicle i love all the features that it offers uh, which they're not very far from this by the way, I love the brakes on this. Brakes in this car are far better than the Genesis. Anyways, that was it for today. Thanks for watching. Special thanks goes to BMW Auto House for providing me with this 7 Series uh, for today's video. And if you wanna know more about their dealership, the link will be in the description box. If you want to check it out, and maybe take this for a test drive. Thanks again, cheers.